What's up, everybody? It's Jeffrey Lyles. Welcoming you to another edition of Lyles Figure Files. Happy Thursday. Hope you're having an awesome week. So far, I know I've spoken to a lot of you through the comments, through Wednesday nights, Lyles Movie Files. But we're here. One more day to go. And then we get to enjoy another weekend. Lots of figure stuff to talk about, as always. So let's start off with everything. And let's start by saying what's up to everybody here. It's already hanging in the chat. 80s giver in the 90s. Yo, Jeff. What's up, Toy Tuber crew? G Brew. What's up, gents? Sorting books I got at a book sale a few hours ago. Nice. Uh, got Retro Scarlet. Very good. Very good. It's a great figure. Kidred 1998. What's going on? For the Marvel Legends line, can they do Nomad, Nomad's Wife, and Demolition Man, or D-Man, Captain America Allies? Then again, they're deep cut characters. I don't know who Nomad's Wife is. Um, I do know Nomad. I don't see why they couldn't do him, or Demolition Man, or D-Man. Um, I mean, you know, saying they're deep cut characters, we, we've gotten an egghead figure this year, or last year. So I don't know how deep cut they are. I feel like anybody's fair game. Maybe it's just more of how they package them. Say if they were to do a Captain America and Friends box set, it'd be really easy. But I don't know why we couldn't get a Nomad figure. He was part of that whole Marvel Knights 90s revitalization deal with the Midnight Suns and that whole gimmick they were doing with Luke Cage in a black leather outfit, the red shirt. I, I don't see why we couldn't get a Nomad. He does have a cool look. I'm here. I'm sorry, I was just a little late. Vin Doom. Evening, everyone. What up, my man? 50 Grand Jeff. What's up, Vin Doom? Omega 579. Can't slow down like Lionel Richie. <laughs> nice. James Green. Hey, Thursday night crew. Jeffrey, Fallout was great. I'm still working through it. The problem when they do a this an hour-long show and put it up in a binge format, it's really hard for me to watch. Dedicate those eight hours out of any, you know, short window of time and try to watch it. Consider reviewing each episode for that one. I'm just going to go with the here's the full Fallout season one review. But it's tough juggling the other movie, you know, juggling movie reviews, the figure reviews, because there's so much stuff coming out. The, you know, the updates to the channel, comic book reviews. So stuff like this. Always kind of takes a backseat. It might be a couple more weeks before I finish watching all the Fallout. Paulie Wood, Jeffrey, if you're about to mark about how Hasbro seems to be fast rolling out releases ahead of schedule and hitting us with more pre-orders, way ahead of you, man. Something scary happening. Well, don't tease us. What's that about? 80s Giver and 90 says, wait till we get some new Marvel Legends stuff revealed next week. Well, it is coming. Roberts, hey Jeff, hope it's good. I got Ultimate Piper and was marked at $25. That is a very good find. Congratulations to you, Kelly Cox. Hey Jeff, hey everyone. Being a fine figure. Hey, 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 what's up? Jay Woods, happy Thursday. Jeffrey in chat. Oops. There we go. 80s kid, I got the grievous cough. Well, hopefully it will allow you to continue marching through and carrying out the orders. Of Darth Tyrannus. Jamelin. Dang, I was sitting here waiting and didn't get the alert. What's up, everyone? What's up, man? James Grant, I stayed up last night, watched it right after Movie Files. That is some strong commitment, man, because I've watched two and a half episodes so far. It's keeping my attention. But yeah, I mean, trying to trying to watch something that I'm not invested in. You know, I know a lot of you all like Fallout. Excuse me, I already have that interest to it. For me, I'm going in cold and just like, okay, this is a cool show. But I know if you were in the Fallout and we're hoping it's going to be good, I'm sure you have a lot more like, I got to burn through this thing than I do. All right. So, as usual, I want to ask everybody to start off what you get to kick off this week or what pickups have you made over the course of this week? For me, it's pretty slow on that front. Obviously, I did get something new. It's cool. Trying to see how, how my swivel, swivel works. Those of you on the movie files, you already saw this, but got this guy, opened him, shot him all in one quick shot. 
It's the DC McFarlane Toys. He still won't get in focus. Even after last night's attempt, the McFarlane Toys classic Superman, he just will not ever stay in focus. We're getting focus. Anyway, he's really cool. I like the stand that he comes with. The swirly cape is, is neat. I definitely love those classic colors. They pop. And he looks super bright on screen. I think they're about right in person, but really fun. Nice to have him hanging with the rest of the classic Justice League I have here on the back of the show. Yes. And I managed to do that without knocking anyone over. All right, let's see. We need Jedi Dooku with the beard. I mean, I, I, I'm fine with the Dooku we have. And I don't know what I would do with that Jedi Dooku on my prequel Clone Wars shelf. The Unifying Figure. Hasbro woke me up today with their latest record. Yeah, it's, it's getting wild. Jamie, anyone else feeling salty about the Tiger Paw and wreckage? <laughs> I have several salty thoughts on that. I will break them down very soon, much much earlier than normal for my G.I. Joe discussion. Slasher Con got the notification that my wife's from Giant Man 2 pack ship. Yes. Along with some outlet deals. What deals in those did you get? G. Brew, the new episode of X-Men repeatedly stabbed me in the heart. You're to blame. Twisted the blade and kicked me down a flight of stairs. It was, it was something. <laughs> Definitely something. No spoilers for everyone who hasn't watched it yet, though. Danny Rue. What's up, Jeff? I'm doing good, man. How are you? Being a fine figure, I got the NFT wave from McFarland plus Duke and Scarlet. Which NFT wave? Or is there a full one that they've done? James Green, thanks for the kingpin. Heads up, I pre-ordered them. Excellent. And I'm glad to hear that because it's, you know, I'm always feeling like it's a good practice for them to put out figures who are super expensive and just prohibitively too hard for people who want to get figures, but it's like, nah, there's no shot of getting that. Oops. Because I was looking, I was like, is this figure hard to find? Because I was able to get them and I was very happy to get them when I did. And I was like, this is the, the kingpin I wanted. That build a figure was fine, but you know, the colors were just kind of boring. But the newer one, I was like, yeah what i'm about so i looked on amazon because i was curious to see what he was going for you know like why why do we need a new version but it was pretty obvious as i looked on amazon and see that he's going for 99 dollars 99 cents and you know that that's from a store amazon of course didn't have him in stock but yeah that's exactly why he's back in rotation and i know some people were like oh man now my other version is not as not as worth it. I'm like, but you already have it. For people who missed out, it's very good to get it. Vin Doom, slow week for me. Picked up Super Seven Storm Shadow. What do you think? The bombastic bag man for 10 bucks. And Yolo Park Transformers Rhinox. Which of those three is your favorite? 80 Skid, that Superman looks way better than my Hush version. Yep. That's why that Hush version stayed on the shelf when I saw him. I'm like, no, no, no. I mean, it doesn't really look like the best version of a Jim Lee Superman. The, the body that they chose for him really works well for Bizarro, not so well for Superman. Quite frankly, that's my preference for Superman. He's supposed to smile. I think this one is really good. The hands are a little bit oversized, but I like the fact that he's smiling. And I really see the Gary Frank reference because he typically drew Superman with a smile. You didn't see both rows of teeth. He kind of did it. Like that. And Christopher Reeve did the same thing I noticed in, you know, just still shots of Superman smiling. So that's where the influence is. And I'm pretty sure that's the basis for that Superman. But yeah, I would have loved to have seen a stern, serious expression included with this smiling one. That way you could mix and match because you shouldn't be punching out Zod with a big smile on his face. And so for Supreme, I am very salty since you asked. I feel like a lot of people are. <laughs> An ex oh gosh, let me try it more time. Ex an exaltus. Hmm, maybe. Let me know if I said that wrong. My wasp and giant man are coming tomorrow morning. Nice. Digital wave. Chamberlain, my comic shop had the new diamond select classic Captain America, and it pulled me in. So what do you think? 
Slasher Con, I've been waiting for a drop in price for Ronan the Accuser and the Peter Smythe Spider Man animated series two pack. So, what I had to do for Ronan, too, I mean, it was bigger, look solid, but I'm like, nah, I can't, can't, what was it, 35 bucks originally? A little bit too much. Spider fan, you might get Giant Man and Wasp. Can't wait for the Haslab to ship this year. Me, too. I'm looking forward to the Haslab. I think it'll be fun. Of course, I'm going to have to completely redesign the Avengers shelf when he arrives, though. G Brew. I got the Scarlet, obviously. The Repro Fight features Egon, Black Widow graphic novel, a lonely broadcast, book one, and a Claremont run, subverting gender in the X Men. Let me know what you think of those. Tom Finn. Let's give it up for Hasbro. With that Giant Man and Wasp 2 pack, they did everything right. Made me feel good about backing Giant Man 2. That's what's called a get well game. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I'm going to talk more about that 2 pack. I mean, I've already done a video, but I feel like it deserves a little bit more time here with all of my friends here. So, yeah, we'll get into that soon. Pollywood. Yolo Park Prime Megatron arrived this Tuesday, and I still can't bring myself to unbox them. Oh, man. What? I want to know what you thought about these. I've been hearing more and more in the chat about people picking up these Yolo Park Transformers. So I want to get your take on it. Snake Eyes is enjoying Fallout. Not surprising. Figured that'd be the case. Robert, hey, that guy who's making Action Force designed that Kingpin. Valiverse or Bobby Val? Is that his name? Jamelin in the FedEx truck just dropped off a dinner box from Hasbro Post and a pile of loot. I'm gonna rip into them while I'm watching. Nice. See, where our FedEx people don't come late at night. It's it's kind of like once the sun goes down, sun's going down. That's it for deliveries. And maybe an Amazon guy will come through every so often, but you know, my office is situated right where I can see the streets. I can see the the big brown truck take a stop or the big white truck take a stop in the front and see him slowly walk out like yes this one's for me spider fan i'm liking hasbro re-releasing some figures i'm planning to get scooter deadpool retro car deadpool and the juggernaut two-pack uh i feel like some of those are, might be sold out on you danny rue i got my first joe figure congratulations welcome you have now officially joined us it's pretty good I got the Snake Eyes and Wolf pack from Ross. Nice, but it's really nice. I got Retro Spider Shot, Scarlet Spider, and Retro Hercules. Speaking of Retro Hercules, that really awesome figure is available today as part of Big Bad Toy Store's excellent uh, discounted clearance section on all the daily deals, as well as the Scarlet Witch. Let me pull that up because I thought they were really good. I'm not going to forget the rest of your comment. But let me pull the, there you go. So y'all can see. So you got the Transformers, Ultimates, say 40%. That's decent. Mandalorian, Marvel Legends retro figures. More Marvel Legends retro. For those of you who liked, Scarlet Witch, $14.99. It's a really great price. I really like the colors. It's kicking and screaming. I don't need to get this figure. I've already bought this figure in that three pack with Magneto and Quicksilver, but the colors, the brighter color scheme makes it so much worth, so much worth. Use words made it so worthwhile in picking up and grabbing. So, yeah. And Hercules, that's weird. I felt like he was cheaper earlier today. And it's 1624, but great figure regardless. And if you don't have them, if you've been looking for them, definitely recommend getting that figure. It's awesome. Now, back to you, Danny Rue. I got uh, and retro Mr. Fantastic for seven bucks. That's a good deal. Gold label Owl Al Man. Where'd you get Owl Man from? 80s kid. I'm so tempted to touch to get Earthrise Optimus, but the little guy is saying, No, wait for the Studio Series 86 version. You should if you haven't gotten them yet. The Canadian $35 for a two pack. Nice. Up here, it'd be 60 bucks. Yikes. That's not great. Christopher Vose. Hello, Jeffrey. What's up, Christopher? Listening while moving. Congratulations. This is a good move, positive move, hopefully. And more space for your figures. It's always a good thing when you're moving. Like Tarbley. What's up, all? Hey, Jeff. Look down. I was working. I realized it was way past eight. What's up, chat? Stop working, Blake. Relax. Take it easy. Is it, you're on the same coast as I am. 
It's way past time to stop working. Kick back and relax, my man. John Battle, Mr. Liles, I hope you're having a great night. I am. Hopefully you are as well. More day for our weekend hit. James Green says the Yolo Park Megatron is amazing. Love it. Nice. Jamelin, the cap is pretty good. I didn't need him at all, but he's so classic. Kind of reminds me of one of my favorite figures ever, Secret Wars cap. Absolutely. How many of those did you have? I know it was really exciting for my brother and I to get at least the first full wave. Although that Doc Ock was kind of a ripoff, wasn't it? The Canadian. I'm glad I've chosen one line to collect for 2024. Mortal Kombat from Storm. Yeah, what are you going to get? Like three more figures? Two more figures from them by the time this year is done? Anxious Olot. Oops, wait, one more time. Anxious Olotless. I think so. I think I said it right, but I might have botched it again. Anxious well, I have a year. Do you think we'll get a classic with Marvel? Carol Danvers? Maybe a version that looks more like her appearance in Earth's Mighty Heroes. That's my favorite one. I hope we get both because we kind of need that one. And if so, I don't remember if there's noticeable changes in the look. But she could double as Moonstone, who's playing Miss Marvel. as part of Norman Osborn's Dark Avengers. We already have Iron Patriot on the rumored list for more figures still to come. That'd be a really great way to get her out there. So maybe I hope so. Chomp Battle found Angel and Sandstorm tonight at GameStop. Had to pull the trigger on both of them. <sighs> Angel's out too. That's right. G -Bru oh, I started reading that X Men The Hidden Years omnibus I bought some months ago. I'm digging it so far. I do remember reading that and it was fun when I checked it out. So. Glad to hear you're enjoying it. Oh, your company's on the West Coast. I'm usually working from noon till eight to nine. It's not a bad way to start the day beginning at, at noon, though. I guess that kind of balances out. Tom Finn, sorting accessories to get figures ready to go on eBay. Surprising how few accessories we were getting, we were getting during Hasbro's first golden age, circa 2014, 2019. Maybe a new one dawning. Yeah, it was it was interesting, but I think for me. I always say this, but when I was paying $20, one or two accessories that made sense for the character, I was fine. Give me that build a figure piece so I can build a figure I want as well. $20 seemed fine. Now I think we're starting to get more value for that. Like, like this amp, amp man, giant man and wasp two pack. Like, yeah, this is a pretty solid amount of accessories for these figures. It's no discount because it's a two pack. They're $49.99, but I definitely feel like we're getting more accessories with more figures, which is a good thing. Robert's Infinite Realm says, oh, finally got my Mythic Legion figs from their sale. Gotta say they're okay, but not super impressed. Oh, okay. What's not impressive? Because I feel like most people who are getting these really like the figures. Danny Root, gold label Owl Man is a Walmart exclusive, but I got it from a flea market. That's solid. Because every time I go to Walmart, all I see is Vampire Robin. I also got the Ronin from Walmart. Nice. So you had a, made a good haul there. And getting, getting that Owl Man in a flea market, that is really cool. So I've been kind of like not having all those hands and squiggly effects to deal with. Well, speaking of hands. I don't know. I think these are from the hand ninja. I don't even know what they're from at this point. But yeah, I know exactly what you mean about random hands and power effects and all that stuff hanging around on the shelf. Yeah, they did. Apparently no real confirmation, but it does not seem like Storm is going to be making any more Mortal Kombat. Kombat for the foreseeable future, which is not fun. Spider fan says Jade is teasing it in the Mortal Kombat license. Interesting. That'd be cool. The figures are totally awesome, Canadian. I'm, I'm upset about it because every time I open a Storm collectible figure, I'm like, yes, th they did it. Great job on that figure. Brent Dash, what's up, Thursday Night Crew? What's up, Brent? Good to see you as always. Charlie Pendleton, sorry I'm late. Demerits will be handed out later on, friend. Just kidding. Welcome. Glad to see you. Um, I was late too, so I gave myself a big hefty fine. So you're all good, Charlie. Glad to see you here with us. 
Patrick Peloso. Peluso. I think that's correct. Hi. Jamlin. Jeff, I really like Secret Wars, but I only ever had Cap, Wolverine, Spidey, and Doom. I feel like you got the best ones. No Iron Man, though? G Brew. Angels chilling in my pile of loot. Since we're talking work hours, I way prefer my six to two schedule to the days when I work nights. Way more personal time that way. Man, but what time do you have to get up to go to work? How would I improve the Black Series? I'm going to write that down as a uh, topic to do for later. Maybe I'll do it during a live, but I'm going <laughs> to, yeah, I'm going to definitely put that down as a video topic, one way or the other. Thank you. By the way, if, if you have questions, suggestions on things that you'd like me to talk about, put them in the chat or email me, DM me, whatever, because always looking for fun topics to talk about and especially stuff that you guys come up with. Doc Avenger. Hey, did everyone else get charged for Giant Man and Wasp? Yeah. Like as soon as you place the order, it's like, whoa, what's happening? But yeah, I'm definitely going to do that. Definitely, definitely going to be doing that one. G Brew, put all my extraneous figure accessories in those plastic divider boxes like you put screws and bolts in. They keep everything straight and makes finding bits way easier. Also, these uh, little Ziploc bags, you can get them from Target. They work wonders too. So this is my Marvel Legends Ultron. I guess you still can't read it. Uh, the one from last year. Just both basic extra hands. They work really well. I can fold them in there just so and pop just like that into one of those bins, very similar to what you're talking. So it gets to save a lot of space. Oops. Danny Rue says, Oh, how could I forget? I got the Catwoman from Dark Knight Rises, that platinum edition. I got it for 20. Nice. A movie trading company had it for $60. That is an insane price. Blake says, how to improve the Black Series? More Black Series. That's definitely one. Morris Mortis, evening. Jeff, how are you doing today? I'm doing outstanding. How are you? The Canadian. I like Jeff. He has great taste. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. The check is in the mail. John Bow, yeah. We'll talk about that in just a second, actually. Danny Rue also got the clone two-pack. Yes, that's a very good set. I get those bass in the Dollar Tree. John, that, that's probably better than what I'm paying for. 80s kid. I watched some classic X Men of X today. And I think we need a 97 cable. I need to figure out what the difference is with that costume. Probably not as many pouches, if I remember very quickly. Jeeber, I'm usually awake around 5 a.m. anyway. Nice. Well, that works out well for you. I learned I might be a, that that's some nights when I'm going to sleep, which is not good, but that's yes, what it is. I learned I might be a morning person. Put the larger accessories in the little plastic bags, stuff I ordered off eBay, come in to keep them sorted. It's very helpful, isn't it? Game Quest, evening all. Glad I finally caught Jeffrey live again. Glad to see you back. It's always a party here. So, and it's always every Thursday, 8.05 normally i don't know what happened today i was getting too comfortable relaxing and that got me spider fan i use a plastic craft jewelry organizers for all my accessories i have different theme for each of the dividers yeah i mean i'm i have two two things that i got from michael's and it's like hmm, this is a great idea i'm already starting to run out of space I'm building an Avengers with the lineup of Earth's Mightiest Heroes. My vision, Hank and Janet, are coming tomorrow. And I need classic Iron Man, Hulk, Thor, Black Panther, and Miss Marvel. Yeah, I mean, that, that show is so great. I know I'm getting swept up in the excitement of X-Men 97. But I would love for them to go. And we're also releasing more seasons of Earth's Mightiest Heroes. Definitely need those. Raheem Young, what's going on? Do you think we'll see a return of Power Rangers? I mean, I would think so. I mean, that's one of the more consistent, ongoing series ever. And as long as they've got the license, it's money. They just need to figure out a way to get more of those collectors excited. I think they were missing out on opportunities to do some sort of mega megazords for Haslabs, where 
maybe you just figure out what, I mean, kind of like the Galactus. Like if you just figure out a way to squeeze the Rangers in there, you could kind of do it, but I feel like they couldn't quite manage that. And that was something they weren't able to do and get people excited about. But every time I get the figures, I'm like, oh, this is great. So I don't really know what happened, but I feel like it's just let's pe- let's have collectors miss them for a while and then they'll put them back out because they were a lot of fun. John Battle picked up Wheeljack and Jammer over the weekend. What do you think? I've seen that Wheeljack a few times now. I haven't seen Jammer now that you mentioned it. Patrick, I made a customized She-Hulk action figure. Uh, which accessory? Um, or which accessory? Which outfit did you put her in? David, what the heck was in? What was that in X-Men 97? Awesome ending. Best thing Marvel has ever done since Endgame. I feel like people are, are saying that like the Spider-Man films didn't happen. I, I don't know. And I've really, I mean, y- y'all know, Endgame is like my favorite of the comic book movies. But, I mean, I thought uh, Far From Home and No Way Home were really great. Like, you know, I always go, I had that subconscious thing, best thing since Endgame. But it's like, wait, wait, wait. There were really good Spider-Man movies, too. So, in two of them, which is still wild to me. Like, we only got one Spider-Man, you know, pre-Infinity War. Infinity, wow, Infinity War and Endgame. Even though they're not part of the Earth's Mightiest Heroes lineup, but also like to get Scarlet Witch and Quicks. Yeah, I was bummed that they weren't in the show. Hopefully they'll make an updated Quicksilver and Pimmons Scarlet Witch. Quicksilver is on the rumored list, so there you go. Hopefully it will be coming. g didn't Hasbro buy the rights to Power Rangers? I think they own it now. Did I lose my mind? I don't think you lost your mind. I think they did actually purchase it, so I think they're all good. Danny Rue also got Goliath from What If for 11 bucks. All I need is Talos to build a Hydra Stomper. I'm sorry, but that was a clearance win. It was. Talos, for some reason, still regular price. Yeesh, that's not great. Yeah, I mean, gosh. He's great for a civilian figure, but certainly not at regular price. Jamelin, Power Rangers will come back when they produce new episodes. I don't think there's any current media. Is I think there is one, I think. But don't hold me to that, because I'm so far away from that. Hollywood at Autobot 5 pack was a game changer for me. I pretty much closed the gap in my G1 year one collection. Just need Bumblebee, Gears, and Wind Charger to wrap them up. Uh, and I'm still confused why we have to keep waiting years and years to get another Bumblebee to fit in with these Studio Series 86 figures. It is just boggling my mind. Boris Mortis, GameStop is going to ship my Plastic Man figures soon. Nice. Danny Rue accidentally ordered two of the Arrowverse Flash figures. I may keep the duplicates so I can customize. Um, which 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 version of Flash did you get? No, Bollywood. There's not a decent Legacy Wind Charger uh, on the pipeline. No, I wish because he's one that I need still too. But for me, I mean, I, I need the Aerial Bot so I can make Superion. And I, there's rumors that we're gonna see. Voyager class versions of the Constructicon, so that would be expensive and really space consuming, but I'm here for it. Oh, exactly. I'd love more of Earth's Mightiest Heroes, too. I'd like to see them tackle newer, newer characters like Kamala. Yeah, that would be fun. I feel like Kamala's getting, she's running the risk of being overexposed. Um, one of my friends sent the image of the new york x-men squad and she's front and center i'm like she was an avenger and she was a champion and she was an inhuman now she's an x-men she's all over the place they, they need to figure out where they're going to position her and keep her there for a while i don't know if being one of one million x-men is the best place for her. the power rangers reboot releases next year thank you 80s kid I, I, it's it's so funny because I think all of us have this blind spot where a lot of us have this blind spot where it's the Avengers. I mean, because in game really mattered. It was such a huge, big deal. And then the Spider-Man films, I think we kind of lump in and kind of like, oh yeah, that did happen after Endgame. But yeah, it was awesome. They were both really good. And But yeah, I mean, what do you, what do you think of the top of the line? It's Endgame. G. Brew. I haven't watched any of the Marvel flicks since Doctor Strange, except Captain Marvel and one episode of Hawkeye to see if they got my girl Kate Justice. Well, what do you think? I guess I guess you didn't think so. You just watched one episode. 
John, I need them to make an X Men Summer's family wave. Summer breeze. Well, now, who would you put in that wave? Rachel, for sure. She needs one. Which version is Cyclops? How would you do Havoc? Maybe Goblin Prince variant. Um, we just got a Corsair. It's a pretty solid figure. They got the headband incorrectly colored from his normal old school looks. But what else would you do with that wave? Petunia purple? Oh, my sweet Aunt Petunia. Spider fan. I was surprised more recent Disney Plus waves aren't at my local Ollie's yet. Maybe, uh, maybe Ross is going to get them. I haven't seen much at Ollie's as of late. Of course, I haven't gone by in a while, so maybe that's it. I understood you, bro. David Thanos pre-ordered the new Vampire Nightwing last week and already got the shipping tax. Is, I guess, well, you know, that's the thing with McFarlane. You don't have to wait too long for his stuff to come out. And you know that going in. It's not something like Hasbro. Like, it's coming out in October. Did we say October? We meant tomorrow. That's crazy. Danny Rue. I got the Arrowverse Flash. Grant Gustin, I'm debating if we should make a complete Golden Boots Flash suit or the Reverse Flash. Go Reverse Flash. Well, they did do one, though. Jibru, Ewok Village Leia showing up in my local alley. It's nice. I'm seeing people actually see more G.I. Joes pop up. I didn't even see any outside of the Storm, the Storm Shadow, the Snake Eyes movie. Tom in 2018, thank you so much for the 1999 super chat. Certainly appreciate you, my friend. I had to save the penny with all those pre orders hitting. It is just a major hit. They're almost not even pre orders at this point. Spider fan, I found a really good judge. I figured my Ollie's for like five bucks. Which one? It's funny, I was just saying that. Danny Rue, also, if I were customize a flash, I'd for sure have to fix those side eyes. Yeah, absolutely. Jamelin, she was only inhuman because Marvel wasn't making any mutant characters at the time, and they apparently thought they were going to do something with the inhumans in the MCU. Yeah, that worked out well for everyone. But that was, boy, that, that whole inhumans thing is really. You know, one bad TV series has kind of made them just radioactive, radioactive, crazy, right? I mean, like, why don't we have the whole human family done? It's like five or six of them. And then Maximus, why is it so hard? But man, that, that bad TV show messed up everything. Let's cut Medusa's hair. Phoenix Five Cyclops. That's true. We could do that. Jibru, Kate Bishop was done well. I agree. I just lost it. I just lose interest with stuff because of my severe ADHD. Well, uh, that is certainly something that is, yeah, I know that can be a problem for folks. So glad you are finding stuff you do enjoy, though, Jibru. 1216 Anarchist, what's going on? A little late to the party. No worries. How's everyone? We're doing good. It's been a party over here. Everybody's talking about what we got, what we want to see. I haven't even started talking about stuff, but we're having a good time. Doc, I can't believe they're shipping the Watch 2 pack so soon either. It's crazy. It would be cool if Ty released the Golden Age Batwoman, Batwoman, Batman and Wonder Woman to go with Superman. Yeah, I mean, well, I guess we do have sort of kind of the Golden Age Batman. Sort of kind of. Kelly Cox says, my own release that I'm sure will not be made is Hulk Villain 5 packs. Yeah, I mean, it would be fun. I mean, just get the UFOs and whoever else you want to throw in there. Sergeant Stalker. Let's see, that would be helpful to me because mine has kind of a gimpy knee and I wouldn't mind having a nice and tight one, but I wouldn't mind if we got a Russia version anyway. So we'll see. Slasher Con, I've been reading through many 60s era Marvel stories and it gave me a whole new appreciation for these characters. Which ones? Because I'm so curious if you've been reading through them, which ones are standing out. I, I really am amazed at the creativity of those creators back then. They they laid out and created so many endearing characters that are still around today, enduring characters and endearing characters. But yeah, I feel like we're getting the onslaught of new characters now, but I don't see them lasting outside of the creative team that comes up with them. All right, here we go. Summer Family Wave, Classic Psych, nice. Pilot Maddie, good choice. Green Phoenix Jean. She is due for an update. Rachel, Kid Cable, Old Man Cable, Hepzibah, Phoenix Raptor Bath. Now that is a solid bath choice. Will we be able to get it translucent? And I guess we could because we could just do it like the void. So that will work. 
Marvel fan. Hello. I just got here. Welcome. I got want to pick up the Wasp pack. It looks pretty good. And the new cable looks good. Probably going to pick it up. I think so, too. And and I, I'm, like, looking forward to, like, immediately taking photos, doing a video of Wasp and Giant Man tomorrow. So stay tuned. Be working on that. g Jack Kirby is the goat of comic creators. Now, see, this is an appropriate use of goat. You can definitely say that for the King Kirby, for sure. Henry G, what's going on? Hey, Jeff. Howdy, Thursday crew. Hope the week is going well. I started my wrestling collection. Nice with your NWO era suggestions. Hope you drop a kid for... Hope you drop a vid for another era. Which one do you want to see? Thanks, brother. I got you. Let me know which one. I did write down a list right here, actually. I went to the library parking lot and scribbled up one. But let me know which one you want to see. Oops. It's funny. The, the chat goes fast when I'm like lining up one to put on the screen. It's like, boops, there it goes. 80s kid said, which Joe first appeared in the movie? Roadblock, Roadblock. I mean, <laughs> I don't, yeah. Well, let's not act like the first one counted because it didn't. Original animated movie? Oh, Roadblock. Oh, absolutely. That would be awesome. Do you have the Toy Biz one? Because I still have that on my display. Definitely not to scale with the current Marvel Legends, but it is pretty cool having a translucent Phoenix flame hanging out there. Spider fan. My only gripe with the Wasp Giant Man set is that it doesn't include the many versions of the characters like the retro card ones did. That, that, that Ant-Man... He might stand, but the Wasp does not. I wish I brought her in because I know a lot of people were upset about that. She's literally like a pin. She can't balance on anything. So she's just standing in this pose, but she can't stand. They don't give her a stand. And she's just like this until you drop her. So she's always got to be in someone's hand, which makes for an awkward pose. So I don't know. I don't really mind that. I wish they could do articulated mini miniature figures but they can't and the faces aren't painted normally so i i don't feel like i missed her but i do appreciate all the accessories they gave us john battle says young cable current cyclops Jeez, what is what is cyclops's current look now i feel like he changes every week the creative teams have no consistency with the outfits it's like how is how is Hasbro supposed supposed to make figures of this stuff when you change the costumes every other four issues? Marvel Girl, yeah, because we need a better one of her. That one we got was trash. She can't stand even with a stand. Have it. Which version? Prestige and Adam X. Adam X. And Vulcan is fine on updated suit on him. Okay, I was thinking we, we got a we got a good Vulcan figure. He's the base for everybody. Marvel fan, I have. Uh yeah, we we've been enjoying. We've been t we talked long, well, sort of in doubt, spoiler free version. But yeah, we we talk about X Men '97 every week, every Wednesday on Lost Movie Files, and I'm enjoying it big time. Doc Avenger, original Amazing Spider Man is always a good read. Fantastic Four is also good. Reed's treatment of Susan, yeah, it is. But her her whole dialogue is funny too. Oh, Reed is such a man. I don't know. Should I talk? It's it's so wild. Like like reading that stuff, I'm like, Ugh. but everything else is great. I feel like in terms of retro, it's really good to see what Kirby and Lee are doing and building out the Marvel universe. And then after them just building up that foundation, watching John Byrne decorate every room in this massive tower that is the Fantastic Four Baxter building brought to us in comic book life because so much great stuff. And his writing never really feels dated, even right now. John Battle, I need a modern OG X-Force team. And they're the purple and yellow or the black and yellow. Yeah, they were changing costumes a lot too. But I would like a team set where we get most of them in that uniform look because it's taking forever to get those teams completed. Jibra, I really like Maddie the way she looks in her first appearance when she and Scott met. I dig that. The bomber flight jacket suit or flight suit. Yeah, that would make for a really fun uh, figure. Slasher Con. Bought many of the omnibuses at the time, including Fantastic Four. Nice. Amazing Spider-Man, the Mighty Thor, Incredible Hulk, X-Men, Daredevil, Doctor Strange, Iron Man, Avengers, and Captain America. Really good stuff. Which one's your favorite? 
Also bought the Epic Collection Ant Man and Wasp volumes one and two. Nice. Marvel fan. Also love your videos. Thank you so much. I appreciate you watching them. Hope you're doing good. Doing pretty good. I just started getting into people's streams. So this is my first time here. Loving it so far. Thank you. Glad to, glad to have you on board and hanging out. And, you know, every Thursday. So please come through again. G Brew, Cyclops is wearing a 60s, 70s, 80s costume with current comics. But hey, I think they mean the House of X POX Powers of X costume, which is fantastic. Well, they did that one, right? That's the blue and lighter blue. Maybe they should just do all the Cyclopses on the Vulcan mold because we really need that done. Spider Fan, it'll take Hasbro forever to complete a team of matches. We're still waiting to complete. Yes, yes, we are. So waiting on them, the new Warriors. Alpha Flight, kind of, sort of. X-Force, there's just too much. Anyway, so I mentioned this. Let's let's get into the news of the week, such as it is. Um, Tom McFarlane is like, hey, I want in on this crowdfunding, too. This looks awesome and fun. I'll do it. So we've got one. We've got a Spawn Batman from the Batman Spawn cover with his homage to The Dark Knight Returns. And... You see, he only, he only, he had a reasonable enough fundraising goal. It's long since surpassed that now. It's getting close to, well, close to, but he's, he's long since surpassed it at this point. Raise it in five hours, 416 backers, 25 days to go. So it wraps up May 6th. I got to feel that this is really encouraging news for McFarland. That hey, people are into this crowd fun. What would you like to see him do next? I mean, because this is a statue and this is like, all right, that's cool. But I mean, the fact that sold out, oh, they're sold out of certain things. There you go. You can still get the resin statue. It's pretty wild. So 500 for this piece. And it definitely looks like it's a really cool, really nice showcase piece for your collection. Great work on both capes. Definitely the spawn one's just gonna stand out a little bit more. So this is pretty cool, but wow, he's already gotten this bad boy done. But I do think it's funny here. If funding goal is not met, Farland Toys reserves the right to continue or cancel the project. I have never seen that before. Now, maybe some of you all who get other crowdfunding projects have seen that in the past, but I think it's really interesting. He's like, you know what? I may keep going with it if it didn't fund. No worries, it's already knocked out and funded. So great job for McFarlane. But what would you like to see him do next? Specifically more in the DC multiverse realm. Would you like to see a more articulated, taller, bigger version of the anti-monitor? I know I would. And I would pay not $500 for it, but I would pay for a bigger version of him for sure. So what else would y'all like to see on that front? G. Bruce says, I read a lot of the Lee Kirby Ditko Romita stuff. Romita senior stuff in high school. It was great. They should just give us a Cyclops through the ages box set. First costume through present, all in the Vulcan book. Now you're speaking my language. I would buy it for sure. Like all of the X factors, all the different looks, Paul Smith, Dave Cochran. Yeah, make that happen. Spider Fan has made the interesting choice of making Sasquatch the builder figure, excuse me, of a Deadpool wave and then not completing the rest of Alpha Flight. What do you mean? I mean, we've gotten, we have that box set of Alpha Flight. So we, we have a complete team of X, X Factor of Alpha Flight. We have them done. Um, and I wish they would redo Guardian because I feel like his, his, his head scope was terrible. I hate that. Ooh. What? Just, what just made that nasty odor? Head sculpt. We need a more heroic one, heroic head sculpt for him. And I think his colors could pop a little bit more, like the Vindicator figure. But yeah, they've they've done that. And just in case you did not know, pop this up because I was so excited that they actually did a full box set of a team. Yeah, there's more members they could complete, like Box and Marina. But we've gotten those guys in figure form and one of those rare cases where they came through really quickly really early which i really appreciate so here you go spider fan this is the alpha flight set 
I don't know why I put guarding there, but there's Vindicator. And, you know, I mean, maybe we could get a better version with the articulated biceps and double jointed elbows, but this set was really cool. And I'm really glad that they knocked the whole main team out. It was really fun to see them in full form get everybody and there's the wolverine if you want to pair him up there with the squad too so i always bring alpha flight out during the snow see how her red is better than the guardians guardian came out as a solo release i think vindicators is way better got a little bit more of a cherry red and his is a little bit flat i think his white is better so like there's good and bad on both of them but i really like her red more and let's see Let me show you the cool fun final team shot there you go. Or you can just see them going on and taking on the X-Men. That's always fun. Back in the day. A little balance and acts. So yeah, I mean, they were a good, that was a really good set. And I want them to do more of that so we can have that kind of fun with other teams. I mean, like that was a five-figure set. I think there are a lot of five team sets looking at UX Factor that we could do, that they could do, and be happy to get. Slasher Gun. I naturally found Spider-Man, the most engaging of the reads, followed by Fantastic Four, Thor, and Avengers. But I was surprised how much I liked Iron Man. <laughs> yeah, it's they they've taken him down a decidedly MCU path since 2008. But I think older Tony Stark was a pretty cool and different character than the one we have after the movies. Golden Age Justice League of America action figure set would be a good funding idea. Now, would you make it a funder with like a giant Starro? Because he could just release a build a figure wave. Maybe he does another Starro as the build a figure. I mean, no, but I would want Aquaman with his his standard look. I know it's like more of a yellow glove deal, but I guess we're kind of close to that anyway. Because we got that Green Lantern, we got Aquaman, we have Flash, a Great Flash. So we would need a Wonder Woman or Black Canary, depending on if you're a JLA Year One fan, and definitely a better Martian Manhunter. Doc Avenger says, I would like Todd to do proportionally sized action figures. That would be something fun. Jalen says, Todd was supposed to do a deluxe medieval spawn after his initial Kickstarter. Is this the initial one or, or has he done one in the past? I don't really keep up with most of what he's done prior to um, outside of the NFL sports figures, the basketball ones. And yeah, so did he, and I, yeah, he did some. No, that was not because they did alien figures. He did do posed movie figures. That's why I was getting confused. Undercover Colton. Hey, everyone. Hey, Jeffrey. I've seen your videos before, but didn't know you stream. Glad to be here. Glad to have you on here. I mean, every Thursday night. Tell your friends. And uh, yeah, but glad to have you on here. And yeah, I was I was nervous to do the streams, but everybody's so cool. It's like, oh, you just make this a weekly thing. Happy to see you on here. Jibru, they did quite a bit of Alpha Flight. They did, and awesome, awesome figures. So definitely worth grabbing. We do need Marina still in box. Those are the ones, if we get those two, I will be happy. I will call Alpha Flight done and done. I just think box would make for such a cool figure. I mean, they're doing some really good stuff with their deluxe ones. Box would definitely need to be a deluxe figure, but oh man, that would be a cool, cool figure. Marvel fan says, I think they will do X-Men 97 Wave 3. Yeah, I mean, the show is too popular for them to go, all right, we've done, we've done two waves, we're good. So I think it'll be Jubilee, Sunspot, Beast, Morph, Forge, Cable, Mr. Sinister. I guess we do have all the team done, huh? So yeah, uh, maybe we do a Colossus since he made an appearance, sort of, kind of. Maybe this is how we finally get Green Banshee. Looking at you, Dwight. In box two. Absolutely, Kelly. I mean, we, we can't do Alpha Flight without Box. Judge Dreads, what's going on? Jay Woods, thank you. Guardians may believe is all wrong in the original. Thank you. See, this is this is why it pays to have a Canadian viewing audience here. So let me go back up to seeing Vindicator because I want to see how wrong it is. So is hers right? All right, so... Is hers correct versus Guardian? That's my main question. These are the riveting kind of questions you see on this, that you'll see on this one. Josh Dress says, hit the like. 
Undercover Holden. I want this box set. It's nice getting almost an entire team of one set, minus Sasquatch and the Marina. They haven't made. Yeah, I wouldn't mind if they were to make to do another pass on a Sasquatch because reading those John Byrne Claremont era X Men when they're fighting with Sasquatch is just like an eclipse taking up everything. And you know the build a figure is okay, but I really wouldn't mind maybe if they were to do like a wholly original. 12 inch figure of him that would be really cool too wouldn't mind him doing more 12 inch figures and you've got that a bonus where it can be a repaint easily of snowbird rocking the white you know just as basic repaint i think that would be a really good way for them to get more use out of them robert says love that alpha flight set oh i love that joker sorry oh uh, yeah it was a great set they should do more of those and need another sasquatch exactly judge dreads Spider Fan five packs have a lot of potential. I got the Infinity War Black Order set when it came out, and it was amazing. And we also got the five pack of the Guardians of the Galaxy comic book style. So they have done it. It's just they're kind of getting a little bit distracted. I have finally opened up my X Men Uncanny X Men two seventy five Banshee Gambit Psylocke posted the set today. Um, no, yesterday, just just randomly time because it had Gambit and Bishop Bishop Banshee. And uh, yeah, but I would love to see more team sets, even if we get them in a three pack or five pack like the West Coast Avengers from last year. Kind of feel like it's time for some announcements from Hasbro on more of those kind of sets. Marvel fan. I also hope I uh, also hope they do either a box set or build a figure way with a classic blob as a build a figure. And they do the OG X-Men and OG suits, Beast, Jean Grey, Cyclops, Iceman and Angel. Yeah, so you're talking about bikini brief blob. That'd be a really interesting figure to see how they would pull off. I guess they could repaint mostly that figure they, they did already, the deluxe one. G Brew, they should do a Gen X box set like that. We got Chambered M. If we got a five pack, we could knock most of them out. Obviously, I need Banshee and M in their Gen X looks. Yeah, I feel like they're a very good candidate for a five pack because you've already started and kind of sort of has some base bodies for at least the female figure so that would be a really good way for them to go under cover colton i personally prefer the toy biz sasquatch a little bit more than the legends one that body has been used has just been used too much and it doesn't make me think of classic artwork yeah i do like the sasquatch from back in the day let me see. oh that's right the sasquatch was a totally different figure but i think i do still have pictures when i did the review of sasquatch I would like, I, I think the Sasquatch is cool, but I would like to see him. There we go. That was easy. That almost never happens where it's just that simple. Yeah, I feel like they, you know, Toy Biz was able to do a little bit more with their figure. It seems a little bit more like the John Byrne reference, but the the Hasbro one has more heft. He's a little bit wider. Not, not I mean, they're about the same height, but yeah, he he, he looks more formidable. We did get a medieval spawn. Thank you, Judge Dress. Did one a few years ago. It was an anniversary for his original 90s spawn figure. Thank you. Nice to know. Boris Mortis, I'm down for the Cyclops through the Ages box set. That would be awesome. Henry G. Gigana would be a really good one. Good choice. I like the build a figure Sasquatch on the big buck. I wouldn't mind it being bigger though, because he's he's he could be bigger. Shout out to Cat99 or Alan. Just found your channel an hour ago and saw you were live. Love your channel. Definitely sub and thank you so much. Appreciate that. I must have tipped on the right way of the YouTube algorithm today. Nice. Glad to see all these new people hanging out. Dog Avenger. Oh, if he does a gigant, I would get that. I missed the last one. The last one is fine if you have a dc classics collection she's totally superpower or superpower challenges are super friends worthy but she's slight and that's the problem with all those dc universe classics figures they're just not the figures the female figures in particular too skinny just dreads all i need to finish my x-men shelf is a magneto but i can't decide which to get in terms of the standard looks, I think the X-Men 97 is really good. There are a lot of people who will tell you the Mayfex one's good, so I don't think you can go wrong with either one of those. 
So at 16 anarchists, I took the head and hands off of the Age of Apocalypse Morph and put the animated series, put on the animated series morph. Looks pretty dope. Now I want to see what that looks like. Undercover Colton says it won't be revealed for a while, I'm sure. But you guys, I don't know with the way they're pumping out these figures. Do you guys think they'll do another Iron Man retro wave? Updated Blizzard, Mandarin, Hypnosia. Hypnosia, I forgot about her. And Century? Those would be fine. But which Iron Man will we get? Because you know we got to get at least two. But yeah, those are those would be solid. A century was the one I think a lot of people were like, oh man, this is the best choice to get a chance to get them. But I think I, I'm pretty sure they will do another wave, especially with all the fan love they've gotten from this first wave. A Wolverine ah, through the years would set would be cool. That would be, but I feel like we have most of the Wolverines and a great body for Wolverine. So what would be different on that one? Ryan says, Jeff, I sent you some pics of my new Cobra Annex shelf on Instagram. I'm using my phone and I would like reach for my phone so I can pull them out, but that's going to be hard to do, but I will check it out for sure. Thank you. I, I'm going to do some fiddling around here. So I'll actually have a figure shelf here so you guys can see some stuff as opposed to my cool posters. Jay, Vindicator's Leaf is closer to the one on the flag. <laughs> Card is just not. Gotcha. Okay, so that's good to know. I was very curious about that. Christopher Bowe says, I want a Walter Lankowski civilian figure. Yeah, I wonder if there's a head sculpt that we could use that would fit just fine for him. Putting him on one of those, maybe like a Talos body. Judge Dreads. I got Toy Biz Sasquatch, but he's too like, yeah, he is. He is. He, he looks like he needs to eat some more. Undercover Colton, I think both look a little bit off, but Guardian Sleep is definitely way worse. All right, Hasbro, it's time to re release him with a new paint job and a better head sculpt. Maybe they could put him in a two pack with Marina. Would you guys be up for that? Or would you be like, I already got this figure? Because I feel like there is a good chance. Good way to do it because Box needs to be released on his own. There you go. Box set for Nasty Boys. I mean, the, the, the Nasty Boys were an X Factor, Mickey. They were, um, they fought the Havoc Polaris version of the team, and they look really cool in that. And I was really, I was really excited to see them because they weren't seeing any of the X Factor team really. So seeing them fight the X Men was really cool, and they would make for a really fun five pack. We're talking five packs, y'all know. I want to see the Marauders. Ah, Doc Avenger and humans and Imperial Guard should be the next. There's way too many viable boxes that Hasbro's Marvel Legends team needs to get on. Because, geez, that's like five that we've all come up with that would make for really good sets. The original X-Men, Inhumans, Imperial Guard, uh, the Nasty Boys, Marauders. That's a lot. Crimson Cobra Commander. Hello. Hello. That, 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 I'm, I'm surprised we haven't seen that variant of them anyway. Blake says a Goliath the same size as Sasquatch would be great. Right. We do need, I mean, geez, which Goliath? You want the Hank, him, Clint Barton, Bill Foster? Just dress. I'm thirsty for a new swamp thing. Just don't drink the water. Did you not get the McFarlane one that they just did? Because I thought that was a pretty decent one for people who wanted. Did you get the Tiger Paw? No. Um, Tiger Paw, I'm going to talk about Tiger Paw in just a second, actually. Undercover Colton, we desperately need a new Guardians of the Galaxy box set. I know we've gotten some newer classic ones, but I want the modernist designs like the previous box set. Yes, you are right here. So who do we put in that? Jack Flag, Mantis, Gamora. Because I feel like we need more of her actual Guardians co color costume. Uh, let's see. Who else do we want to put in this thing? Because there's still a lot of choices. Groot wearing the costume and Philo Bell. Because y'all know my love for Philo Bell from that Guardians run. And there's still more characters we could throw in there as well. So that would be my choice. Like I don't think the Groot is outsized or needs to be like a deluxe figure. Just put him in that suited outfit. Because it's weird having clothless Groot which I thought was really funny that, you know, that would have been a cheap, easy way to do it. 
for the movies, put them in clothes. They don't have to animate the whole thing. But yeah, that, that was really easy to do another box set of them. I'd be down for that. Jibru, a classic more run swamp thing would be ideal for me. I got you. Judge Dreads, the only box set that would tempt me is a monster's box set with Dracula, Werewolf, Frankenstein, and Mummy. Yeah, I mean, they are doing a lot of stuff like Toy Biz, and I really like that Toy Biz set until the ball jointed hips became like, ah, they wouldn't stand. So Dracula became worthless. Marvel fan, I think we should get a box set of the new X Factor. The 90s one with Quicksilver, Wolfsbane, Multiple Man, Strong Guy, Forge, Polaris, and Havoc. And if I miss someone, tell me I'm not the best. Um, you pretty much nailed the team, but they pretty much put those guys out. I think you could also put Mystique with that team. Wild Child joined up with them, but they're you know, Polaris has a different outfit, so she could be due for another one. We do have Havoc and Polaris in their typical outfits. Strong guy, guess you could get him in that other one. Multiple man, we have him in that set too. We are getting Wolfsbane, she's coming. Quicksilver is like the version we've got already, so. They have actually released most of this team. I know there was like major excitement for me when they showed Wolfsbane because we got the team complete. They've even got Random, who was also part of that squad too. So they have really knocked out most of that X Factor team. Randall G wants to get a Force Work set based on a terrible cost. Yeah, they were interesting. I guess we get Scarlet Witch, US Agent. This is really bad. Uh, Century and Iron Man, I guess. Shadow the Cat 99 says, hoping for a Meryl figure someday. She's one of the last characters from Marvel vs. Capcom, Capcom to not have a Legends figure yet. I didn't realize it was like that close. We're almost done with the Marvel side of that. Yeah, I mean, I'm surprised we haven't seen her. We've gotten Mer Meryl Maggot and still need Dr. Cecile Reyes. So those two. To complete that many new recruits to the team, definitely be useful. So yeah, I'd love to see them. Spider fan, I like to see a classic Spider-Man villain set. We're long overdue for Chameleon. We do have Chameleon. Um, they put him out a long time ago. If you did not get that figure, but we do have a Chameleon figure. He's on a basic suit body, so he's not the most exciting one. I feel like he's got to be a good candidate for the uh, retro line based on his look from the cartoon but here is what he looked like in the the version we got way back around 2020 i feel like maybe that was a long time ago and i may have actually just reviewed that figure like eh, the suit body works okay for him but i wouldn't mind getting the retro with that more exciting costume for him yep undercover colton says so most likely to be in a bhs set G -Brew. Freedom Force Marauders box set are needed stat. Marvel fan, we also need a new Mystique with really good articulation. Like the VH1 design is good. I hate the cell shading and he ripped us off. It promises double jointed arms worthy. Uh, she's rumored to be coming in a two pack with Destiny. So there you go. Ah. <laughs> Ryan's got me covered. There are a lot of humans that have not been made yet. Surprise, we don't have a crystal or Triton yet. <laughs> Crystal is so easy that I'm just like shocked we haven't gotten her. She's literally a blank body in a new head sculpt. A lot of y'all build a figure is more possible now since we got the Zabu build a figure is a four legged one. Yeah. Crimson, ba Crimson Cobra Commander says, I finally own my 3D printed tactical battle platform for classified. It should be here in a month. That's nice. I, I had that too. And I was like, this is such a fun, random playset. But I like that. It's really cool that you got that. Man, thank gotcha. <laughs> so I was like seeing Erica. So I would absolutely love a Clint Barton Goliath. It'd be fun. And Man Thing is actually rumored to be coming as well. So maybe covered there. Shadow Cat. I want the white armor suit for Gamora to be made. Really surprising she hasn't been made yet. She has too many, like. I think what happened was when the movies dropped, they were like, oh, we can't go with these comic book versions. And then they went overboard redesigning and redesigning and redesigning new costumes. And one hasn't stuck where it can be the definitive look for. Her, so I think that's the reason why we haven't seen it. 
Ryan, we need a Warriors 3 box set. They could also include Ball to the Brave, Heimdall, or a classic version of Lady Sif. I'd be down for that, too. Judge Dreads, I don't understand why they didn't do that either. That would have made a lot of sense, but they, they missed the window for it. G bro, I want Morrison era X-Men and X-Factor investigations box set. I'm surprised we haven't seen the, the box set of the Morrison crew. Judge Dreads, we desperately need a wrecking crew box set. I don't care how we get them and their classic looks, but we need them desperately. Snake Eye says we should get more Marvel zombies based on the comic. For this giant man zombie head. What a, what a coincidence that you're talking about Marvel zombies tonight. Yeah. yeah I mean, they, they need to do a bunch, huh? Werewolf by Night is my most wanted right now. And I'm surprised they didn't do that. That seemed really weird. Jeeper, we got Maggie before Mero and Rez. It seems backwards. I just don't understand that that was a prime candidate for one of those love triangle, family matters. Excalibur three pack sets where here you go all three in one set were done Cecile didn't need a lot of sculpting either just basically they could have given her the kitty pride body and throw on a new head sculpt she's done maggot and marrow of course would have taken a little bit more work but I think a box set would have been the way to go Blake says, I want a shot in the dark two-pack. The Spidey universe has so many civilian figures. I like Uncle Ben, Crusher Hogan, and Flash Thompson. Has there ever been an Uncle Ben figure? I don't think so. I wonder if they do him in the, the VHS line. Aptom Child wants more whole Ant-Man wave. See, this is funny. This is turning into what do we want to see revealed on Monday's Marvel Legends stream. You guys know I'll be doing, doing a, a recap on that. So. That would be interesting. I kind of like how we're just kind of rolling with the homies with this episode. So that's fun. 80s kid. I'm hoping the new rumors. Superior Spider-Man has a spot. I believe so. Roberts. Crystal is probably the only human I'd be interested in. Just for her Fantastic Four and Avengers Association. Yeah. I mean, that's what I'm like. They just need to get one version out. So that way it's a really easy repaint. Or, I mean, I guess we could just put that inevitable crystal head onto the Cersei body, the Black Widow body, the Rogue body, and call it a day. Got her in her 90s attire because I don't understand why we haven't gotten her yet. Marvel fan. I think they should release Petra and Sway from the Deadly Genesis Secret X. Right. That, yeah, exactly. That's the two-pack they should make if they've done two already. We just need them. I'll definitely pick them up. But they're making, yeah, yeah, I'm with you. It was really odd that they didn't do one of the one of the women and one of the dudes, it's just really weird. And I agree with you. I re I've read that after I picked up Vulcan or Darwin. I was like, oh, there are only two more members of this team. So yeah, I'm with you. They need to. Heron G wants to know, what would you consider a classic look for Kitty Pride? Um, two seconds. Ugh, that didn't pick up the one so ridiculously random. All right, let's see here. How big will this image be? This is my preferred look for Kitty Pride. Um, I think Arthur Adams, Art Adams, artwork style, and the long flow in here. I mean, the in the flared, puffy uh, sleeves, the '80s aerobic boots i just i feel like the one we have is kind of okay ish but this is way more of what i wanted to see from kitty pride that's what i wanted green man monkey's paws disney's shield cranker they do not count that was so bad i was like what are y'all doing with them so bad Jamlin, I think it's a weird phenomenon that Marvel Legends takes years to fill out team rosters, making improvements in quality sculpt deck on the Turk and all the way. Yes. Some fans say they want releases to go along with their newer ones. Meanwhile, other fans complain about real releases. Yeah, I mean, I'm I think what they've done really well with the re-releases is not put them in build a figure waves where it's like there's no change to this figure. 
but to build whatever you need that figure. They're always like a standalone thing, retro card, or just a, hey, we're putting the thing out. I think that's fine because I'm, I don't really understand the gatekeeping. Of, I've got this figure. I don't want anybody else to get it, especially now there's more money, unless you're going to sell it. And in which case, I do understand it. But no, everybody should be able to get a chance. And I think they re-release things in the best way possible. <laughs> Excuse me. Judge Drez wants to know, do you think Wasp and Little Giant Man should have been Tears or Hazlitt? When they showed Wasp, I thought for sure. I mean, I was I was very hyped a year before they re released, revealed the Giant Man said, here's the reasons why Giant Man should be the next HasLab for Marvel Legends. And we got the Engine of Vengeance, had to wait a little bit longer. And I was like, there are all kinds of tier characters that make so much sense. I'm always advocating for figures in these HasLabs, and I felt like Giant Man had really simple, easy ones because you could throw in any version of Wasp, and you're covered. You've done a little size version of giant man that also makes sense so i you know when the tears were a scroll head and a zombie head I'm like this that's not great i don't didn't really care about that head for giant man where is he on this cover oh i see he's way in the back anyway yeah i feel like they should have just been tears i'm wondering if they were taking getting the wrong message, like, oh, we don't want tears after the debacle with the Mephisto, Goblin Queen, and Damien, which was never the case of uh, maybe it was sort of kind of because I don't think people were excited to get those figures associated with that Hazlab. And I think they took the wrong message of we don't want those figures with this Hazlab. We do want these figures and we don't want them in this design style that you've chosen. And they just were like, we're only hearing this one part. You guys don't want any more figures. It's tears. Hopefully, going forward, they get it because we have not seen that blowback with the Vintage Collection with the Ghost. It was like, hey, you want all the figures to go with your Ahsoka Ghost? You're going to have to back this Hazard. And they've even done right in terms of not putting those figures out in those same looks in Vintage Collection card back. So I do appreciate that. But yeah, I would have wanted them in that. I'm not upset that we're getting a two pack, though. And kind of quickly, like really quickly. Gorgon. Yeah, exactly. Jay Woods. Marvel Legends returns to the bring back the bad guys. I would love a Lethal Legion, Swordsman, Mbaku, Classic Living Laser, Power Man, and New Grim Reaper. Yeah, those would be fun. Kelly Cox, that is the best kitty pride, like by far. Undercover Colton. I love a new Grim Reaper too, Jay. He was really cool in Avengers Earth Mighty Zero. Yeah, I mean, I like the one we have, but I feel like they could do a better articulated version with a better body at this point. Kayla Brown. I agree. The shadow cat look is nice. It is. It's so cool because it still allows her to not be the most powerful, intimidating ninja version of the character. She can still be semi-vulnerable while being able to stand up to the Marauders like, you can't touch me. And then Scrabbler comes along and gotcha. So much fun. G-Brew, it bugs me how often they stick kidding some variation. Yeah, right, right. The basic yellow, black, blue outfit. That's her best look. It's her most unique one, too. Afton Child is hoping to see all Jagger. Yeah, I would, too. Marvel fan wants to see the Nasty Boys in a box set. Well, hopefully we'll see them. 80s could I think a Graviton would be cool. Ryan Daly says the fact that Hank and Jan are in the Beyond Earth's Mightiest Package and we're ready to ship immediately tells me that two-pack was supposed to come out last year. I wonder what the deal is with that. I mean, they did say the anniversary is continuing on to through this year, so I don't know. I would like to see more Beyond Earth's Mightiest Hero or, yeah, Beyond Earth's Mightiest because I think we can get that 90s Hercules and Crystal out that way. That'd be a really good way to pull them off. Snake Eyes. I always wonder why was the Goblin Queen in the Hell Charger? Did there something happen? Or I'm missing something? Yeah, no. Just a weird look. Yeah, the problem was the price and, and the fact that those characters aren't who you associate with Ghost Rider. I mean, not that they would have 
thrown in a character with a bike, but I feel like a damn catch a Johnny Blaze would have made a lot more sense because it's not like we've been inundated with a slew of Ghost Rider figures since that aborted HasLab. I feel like they really missed the mark. I mean, were they going to do more figures at the HasLab and, and gotten back like we're seeing with Hank and Jan here? Jedi classifies does HasLab right. Marvel's like, yeah, yeah, you're right. Because, I mean, Star Wars, the Jedi classified, we're getting figures with them. And it's clearly not a thing if people don't want figures along with their sets. I would love a 1980s Squadron Supreme set. I love the night. Yeah, Randall, that would be cool. Hollywood, for sure. That is definitely something I feel like they're not doing, but I kind of think it's on their radar. So hopefully we'll see that soon. Judge Dredd, they're not going to run out of characters. There's so many big characters they can still do. I mean, technically, they could go, all right, you bought Giant Man. Now it's time for Goliath. And I'd probably be like, sign me up. So I mean, there's more of them. There's Eternity, The Watcher, Bing Bang Foom, the strong rumor for this year. Um, there's there's enough that they've got a, many more years of those to keep going. Give us a VHS Hulk line. Kayla says Kitty needs to come with additional swappable phased out limbs. That would be really cool. I mean, we, we did see that with Invisible Woman, so it's not like the technology isn't there. I'd, I'd be down for that. Remake Galactus with even more articulation in his fingers. So I can do the full. Was Bebub love the Jajo has labs, but like the one that dropped today, it's tiring trying to keep up with the smaller retail exclusive releases. All right, let's get into it because we've been talking about that, we've been mentioning it, and I've just been like not showing that figure yet. So, we got this I think it was a full force podcast that had the first look, and then we saw a bunch of reposts with it. I was waiting for the official picks from Hasbro because they do send them, so I was just waiting for them. We got this. With a tiger paw with wreckage. And this did not take long at all. I mean, we just basically saw the ferret, just got it for pre order, it sold out. And I think that's very interesting. The note that, of course, these Jojo Classified Series fans are not saying, they're not just saying, hey, we want vehicles and not backing them. So more shots of the tiger paw. And wreckage who's a repaint of firefly just like the original figure and he's got the skeleton of a saber tooth tiger on the mask i feel like it's a little bit busy looks a little weird from a distance but that's what it is um i know people are excited about it this doesn't do a whole lot for me because fireflies look is awesome it's amazing i love it i've never been a huge fan of let's call a repainted version of one character a new one Especially when you're swapping them out for G.I. Joe and Cobra. Like, if this was some sort of Firefly repaint, maybe I'd be more like, oh, that's cool. But I don't know. I know folks are very excited about this set, though. And clearly very excited about it. We're seeing all the gear. Nice shot. Pretty sure these are more from Shooting the Galaxy. So you can see this is a direct repaint of Firefly right down to the backpack. So he's got the mines, two the grenades in the back. The same submachine gun loading up the mine. So he's going to detonate some stuff. I don't know. I mean, he's, he's a nice looking figure. Um, cool work here. The tiger paw definitely stands out in terms of some of these vehicles. And it doesn't look like a direct repaint, even though it is of the ferret. It's certainly different enough that it's not the same old thing. He's got his tiger force logo right there. And more detail look of the mask, painted mask. With this, uh, I need more sleep look. I'm not quite sure if his ethnicity. What was wreckage? His ethnicity in the old days. And then we got the barrel, and this got the tiger force shot up, paint deco on it. Nice looking deal. I think with the helmet, kind of makes me stand out a little bit more. And he at least can hang out with the rest of the team and, and sort of look more unique with this helmet. I don't know. Of course, you had you were totally out of luck if you tried to get this thing. Sold out 
Pre-orders are done at Target. It's coming out July 21st. What I also thought was interesting with this one was, let me see here. So the Tiger Paw was $54.99. And let's see if this is still here. If I can pull it up. There you go. Great. Here was the price of the Python Patrol Televiper and Cobra Flight Pod. It was $10 cheaper than it was on Hasbro Pulse. So this one was price different. It was like, all right, you guys may not bite on this. It's $10 cheaper. And I remember people complaining like, oh man, this is terrible. Why is this thing $10 cheaper? And the original one is $54. But I think it was because people weren't going to buy it. And they stayed on the pegs, on the shelves until they had clearance. Now they're gone, can't find any. But that's what happened. And I think that's what's going to be the case with this. They're sold out. I think they're going to be on the shelves. This is like the Ram Tiger Force. So we'll see how that goes. But really interesting that it's sold out right away on Target.com and Hasbro Pulse. I think they post, they sent an email out for everybody who sleeps in late. So Blake, you were probably short too if you got up late and missed their email because I think they said pre-orders are going up for Pulse Premium members at nine. And I think even before they got open to the general public, they were sold out of their allocation. We know we're going to see them on the shelves. It's not a thing of, oh, no, we're never going to get a chance to get this. But I thought that was very interesting. Plus, it's a very good sign for more vehicles coming down the road because, oh, if we can get a vehicle sold out really quick, just like the fair did on Pulse, that means we can get another repaint that will sell out just as quick, justifying Hasbro making new vehicle molds. So that's very good, even if you're like me and not that invested in getting the Tiger Paw. TJ Jedi, we got the message. No figures behind paywalls was Hasbro gaslighting us. They're trying to save face, but still gener generate profits after failed engine of vengeance Haslab. Wasp plus Pim 2 pack should have been tears. Yeah. Vintage Bob. Living Monolith would be a cool Haslab, and Living Pharaoh would be a logical tier. I wonder how those would sell. Doc Avenger, I think DC has slightly more characters. They've been around a little longer. The way these guys are doing over at Marvel, we're getting 18 new characters every month. It seems Janeway, you know what I think would be a perfect five pack Amazon exclusive or not? Nocturne, Morph, Thunderbird, Mimic, and Magnus. I like that, those would be fun additions to the line, too. Just yeah, I feel like there's a lot they could do, and it's just like, man, what are y'all, what are y'all waiting on? Roberts, okay, I hate that wreckage. Just saying, I'm not a fan either. But it's sold out, so that's great news, even for those of us who aren't fans, because that means Hasbro, the classified series team, is getting a message. Yo, y'all want more vehicles? Gotcha. So, awesome. We need retro chuckles. Who coincidentally I happen to have on my shelf or my desk? What's wrong with this guy? And, I mean, he is about as retro as you can get outside of being portrayed like a tank. Like he was with Judge and Lee. I have to turn me to see if I can get these figures focused. No, gosh. <laughs> Soon enough. Anyway, yeah, I'm fine with that figure. Stickman, what's going on? Is wreckage from the DIC era of the comics? This is a repaint of Firefly. The Firefly repaint made that an automatic pass. Yeah. I mean, I, they were they were going hard with the repaints, and I don't necessarily care about Tiger Force, Night Force repaints, so. Yeah. Crimson Cobra Commander. I hope I can get that Tiger Paw and Wreckage. I think you'll get it no problem. Jay Woods, love the figure of the vehicle? Not so much. The yellow scream Tonka and those red things in front look foolishly out of place. Ryan. Wreckage was originally supposed to be called Sabretooth. He was developed for the original Tiger line in 1988, but never produced. They changed his name to Wreckage much later on. Thank you. Ryan is like the wealth of knowledge for the old G.I. Joe stuff that even has heads who think we know everything about Joe. He goes even deeper. I got the wreckage from the TRU set, homage to the original Saber 2 from Tiger Force, but that's about as far as it should get. Judge Dreads, I'm hunting a Techno Viper, but I'm not buying any vehicles. Worst more is the Kingpin reissue is sold out. Where is it sold out? Let's see. I'm going to my affiliate. 
Entertainment Earth right now. Let's see. Is he sold out here too? Nope. Pre-order Adam Descartes right this moment. Uh, if you're looking at uh, what's their face? Pulse. They sell out because they have the shortest amount of figures because they want people to, yeah, buy whatever stock they're going to allocate over on Pulse, but they want people to go to their retailer partners to be able to go, yeah, see, there's a demand. So you guys could keep buying more of our stuff. So yeah, it's not sold out yet. Jamlin, I will say I don't love that they keep they haven't been mixing up the weapons loaded out a little more wreckage than Night Force Shockwave. Yeah, I mean the whole deal is just a basic repaint. I mean, like give them a different gun or something, and maybe it maybe just a different head. And I would have been more interesting, but it's just kind of like this is the exact same figure. Ryan, Emily said the Python flight pod prices was a mistake. Target honor the price they settled on after Hasbro increased the price. That's good to know. Yeah, I was I was interested about that. So that does make more sense. Caleb Brown, I agree, Jeff. The Tiger Paw is already a swap, but a swap of Fireflies a little much for me. If I get it, I'll probably swap out the head for another character. Yeah, I mean, or just like some different gear on it too, because it's literally just a Firefly repaint. And I know complaining about repaints and GI Joe is like, dude, where you been since 1982? But given the fact that they have so many pieces at their disposal and coming up with different head sculpts would go a long way to making the figure look different. I don't mind that, especially since the classified series line is rolling so strong. I think they can afford to crank out a few new head sculpts, even if it's just a basic repaint in all the other ways. Marvel fan, I think we should get a giant size X-Men box set. If it is a build of figure wave colossus can be a builder figure we have the classic banshee the classic sunfire thunderbird wolverine and nightcrawler we're almost there we just need dwight to go okay okay y'all can get that green and, and yellow banshee but everybody else has been put out i wouldn't mind a, a new storm with a different body but yeah we've gotten all those figures and storm was the one you, you missed Crimson Cover Commander, the rumor there's a Walmart exclusive vehicle, a new one for Night Force. Oh, well, that could be interesting. Jalen, I was up and checked shortly after nine. I'm a Pulse Premium member and still missed out. Yikes. I checked Target several times and wasn't there. I had a busy day, so I couldn't keep checking. Yeah, I feel like maybe the first day, maybe at least the first three hours, they should have enough, you know, enough of these pre orders to last more than three hours. After that, eh, whatever. But it's just weird that it sold out so quick, especially when there was no announcement, kind of like, hey, guys, this Tiger Paw is going to be available tomorrow at 9 a.m. That's fair. Shouldn't be a, and Full Force got the news, and you all suckers who didn't get up early enough. I think it's 9 o'clock is not the typical time for those pre-orders. Typically noon, maybe 1 o'clock. Some cases even as late as two. So that was weird all around. I don't know what happened there. Spider fan. Chuckles was my figure of the year last year, along with two pack Deadpool. Yeah, I really like Chuckles. West Beba. Hasbro has figured out how to stoke our fear of missing out. All the things being sold out only to flood store shelves in a few weeks and possibly end up in Ross and Raleigh's. That wouldn't be a bad thing. I mean, at least, at least then I could get some of this stuff. David Thanos, it goes to show G.I. Joe will build it. People will come. Yeah, I mean, they are on it. And it really dialed in what we want. And these repaints are selling. So it's like, okay. But this means we're going to get that snow cat and get the whatever the Tiger Force version of it is faster. Sign me all the way up. Malcolm Lee, any new figure deals? Always posting them. Um, check on the dashboard because I put them up as soon as possible. I went to Target this week and there wasn't much of anything new there. They did have the Superman page punchers with Superman, Earth 2 Superman, aka Val Zod, the Ghost of Zod, and Brainiac with the drones. I'm getting reaching from my camera on my picture or my camera to show you the picture I took. But yeah, those, those are there. That's about it. Nothing really new in terms of sales. And I thought with the Target big circle push, they were going to have some stuff. There's 30% off Transformers, but. My targets are terrible at stock and transformers, so there's nothing new. By the way, have any of you all seen Frenzy? I've not seen him one time on the store shelves. And after my massive success of finding Braun one time at Walmart and then every other time at Target, 
they had more than one on the shelves. I was like, ah, Frenzy won't be a problem. Frenzy's a big problem. I haven't seen him at all. So let me know if you guys are seeing him and having any more success than me. 80s K, we need ripcord. We're getting ripcord. We've got a Night Force version with a dragonfly. So we might get ripcord next year, but he is coming. Heavy duty and big law. Big law. Yeah, for sure. Pulse Premium is a total scam. Why do you say that, Judge Dress? I mean, I'm typically not on board with paying for membership, but Pulse definitely comes through with if you're ordering a bunch of Hasbro product. I mean, if you're getting Marvel Legends, Star Wars Black Series, Transformers, G.I. Joe, that's four lines for me. They, they, you know, I buy like four figures, it's paid for itself. Then you start throwing in some Haslabs, and then the, the, Pulse premium sales when you get 35 off for the membership. I, I don't know. I, I kind of dig it. Crimson Cobra Commander, Stinger, Tiger Sting, Triple T, Night Force Triple T, Thunder Machine, and Snowcat are rumored and teased to be coming this year or next. Those are good. Jane, I could take her leave wreckage. I just love most G.I. Joe designs, but I had the Tiger Paws and Ken loved it. Still love it. Oh, I'm sure that these are going to be a target on the shelves. You know, they sold out right now. Ah, Ryan says this year target has a tiger force two pack and now a figure in small vehicle. Walmart has a night force figure in small vehicle. Expect the Walmart two pack this year. That's no fun. That Walmart has an exclusive dog vendor and then target too. Excuse me, Crimson Cobra Commander. A pre order should not ever sell out. You just order more for the pre order. It does sense, seem like it would make sense, right? Judge Dreads, I don't think we're going to see a lot of Ollie stuff either. I feel like that was last year's gold mine, but maybe I'm wrong, but it sure does seem like there are not a bunch of stuff hanging on there. What? Frenzy at Macy's. All right, Ryan, I'm going to have to take a little trip down to Macy's. That's good news. I'm like shocked. We haven't heard anything on that. DJ Jedi, any giant size X-Men number one box set would need to have a completely new skull for Thunderbird. That one in the Target 2 pack was trash. Storm was fire, though. One of my face. Yeah, Storm is really good. I wouldn't mind her being a little taller and a little bit more stormy. But yeah, but the Thunderbird, he does have some weirdness with his parts just kind of falling off or whatever. Yeah, they, they could redo him. David Thanos, that post premium sale comes in handy. It does. I mean, it's really an actual deal because you actually get the benefit of it. <laughs> Vintage Bob, they better be announcing Graviton. <laughs> Hollywood, I'm kind of surprised the retro card beachhead hasn't sold out. I think it's because the retro card wave of Ricondo, Duke, and Scarlet is just now hitting the shelves. And I think people were excited to get them. It was like, I need to hold off because y'all may jump the gun and throw some stuff out way faster than I'm expecting. Yeah, and my Ross and Ollie's have been dry too. Marvel fan, I got to go. Had a good time. We'll make sure to come back next time. Thanks for coming through. Hopefully we'll see you again next week. Jamelin, I'm not too worried. I expect them to be available, but it's just frustrating. I didn't sleep on it. I was actively trying to still must out. That's what's even worse, man. I'm, I'm with you. Hopefully you'll get it soon. Roberts, I think Ollie's will have deals. If they cut back just now, there'll be a tears worth still in pipes. Yeah. What's my number one character I want to classify now? Uh, they've announced Alpine. Uh, we've got a quick hit. Uh, retro Flint. Yeah. And then if it's not Retro Flint, Flash. But I think they've announced him, so wait. Footloose. There we go. But check back with me tomorrow. Maybe different. Yeah, pre-order selling out is very weird. I want a hooded Cobra Commander. Yeah, I don't know what the deal is with that. Tell me about it, Jeff. I'm surprised the new retro Joe wave arrived in March. Right, 80s kid. It's just it's wildness out here. All right, so done that. Wow. That water bottle was going nuts. Sorry and apologies to all of your eardrums for that one. All right, so. Talked about wreckage, the tiger paw. It's selling out very quickly. Let's talk about another thing that came way, way, way too fast because it was wild and ridiculous. Um, 
that is the giant man and wasps set coming for most of us tomorrow. This is crazy. I mean, we're so used to reorder window. Who knows? It may be tomorrow. But this time it was in stock. No delay. No nothing. Right here. Readily available for everybody to pick up right away. Glad to see it hadn't sold out for everybody who wanted it. I have a sneaky suspicion that may change as people start to get it, have it in hand and go, this is amazing, guys. You got to grab it. Probably one of those people. But yeah, this was shocking. And one of those deals where it's like, man, y'all are hitting us hard. And it kind of made me go, does Hasbro need to slow it down a bit? Because if you're collecting multiple waves and multiple lines, there's a ton of stuff right now that you could get. So in addition to this set, there is... People are getting their, pull out the window, there we go, getting notifications that She-Hulk, Iron Man, Model 9, the retro way that's supposed to come out, supposed to come out in July, is now getting bumped up to right now. That's wild. She-Hulk, if you note, her release date has been moved to May 2nd, even though, like I said, people are getting it, the notifications that the order is coming right away. That's kind of wild, especially since July and, and May and April are not the same thing. So that probably means we're going to see this wave jumping up to the one with the Build-A-Figure Zabu wave. So, yeah, it's wild. And then there's also Little Annie. He's available now. So is Padme. So if you're getting your Star Wars collection fix going on, there's those figures, the G.I. Joe retro way that just dropped. We had the ferret sell out right away. The vamp just a couple months ago. Jeez, I say a couple last month, early last month. There's been an onslaught of stuff coming. Do you want to see Hasbro slow down with how they're releasing things? Or do you just want them to stick with the announced release dates of these figures? So July really means July, not anywhere between now and July. Stickman says, I always just dried up for beers lately, but I've been grabbing the graphic novels a lot. Got the return of Superman graphic for $5 and a nice Green Lantern core hardcover for just three. I got that return of Superman from Ollie's and I feel like they've really dried out on the comic trade front because that's where I was going for my trades long before they started getting figures in. It's like, oh man, what am I get what trades am I gonna get at Ollie's? Now no figures and no new trades. Jamelin says, Jeff, you don't get Super Seven Ultimate Joes, do you? Were you interested in that DIC wave? No, I don't get them because they botched Flint and Lady J. If they had not, I would have. But I wasn't surprised that wave got canceled. It was repaints, and I felt like you know there wasn't a huge demand. With the new Lady J, Scarlet, and Baroness in those DIC. I mean, where's the love for those cartoons? One. Two, it's way too many Joes from the cartoon who are super popular. Shipwreck definitely being among those. Um, I guess Shipwreck is the main one. Bazooka and Alpine. Quick Kick. Spirit. Or did they make Spirit? I'm not sure about Spirit. But there are lots of characters from the cartoon Sir Pensor, Dr. Mindbender, that I think should have been in rotation before we get repaints. And I know, yeah, we got to keep this thing going, but there's not interest in those repaints, especially from the redheaded stepchild of the G.I. Joe cartoon universe. And I just, this seemed like a risky play and not shocked that they didn't sell through. David, I'm with you. We need that retro flint, but my big one, I want a retro major blood too. Judge Dress, that tells me they wanted them for cheers in the first place. There's no way they did them that fast. I wonder what happened because it felt like the momentum for Giant Man, the Haslab version, was going pretty strong, but then it felt like it was dragging. So those last few days were like, uh, and I know they showed Wasp. And I wonder had they shown her or revealed her maybe like four weeks earlier, how much faster that thing would have moved forward especially if they were to go, look, we heard you were adding her as a tier. I feel like that would have done really well, but I, I don't know about that one. Pollywood, mega props for the given to Matisse, Justice League, McGuire, 
Just League International pick frame behind you. JLI in the 80s was without peer. So good. Such a great, fun comic book. And I love that team. I don't care what Dan Didio thinks. That was a great squad. Love to get them in figure form. DC Classics sort of came close, but yeah. If Todd can give us those, I'll be really happy. G Bruce says, I'm fine with She Hulk shipping already. I love She Hulk and can't wait for that figure. Crimson Cover Commander. I do wish they would stick more to their release dates instead of moving things up. Yeah, because I mean, let's assume that most action figure collectors don't have $500,000 sitting in their bank account ready for the next charge to come out at some random price point or some random period of time. I think what would be helpful is they were to just go, listen. And just give us the earliest announce. You can push back and delay all you want. But if you say this way this out here now is going to be like a McFarlane release where you see it, it's going to come out next week. I don't think anybody would be upset. It's you say it's coming in July. I mean, you go a month ahead. That's still June. Two months ahead is May. I mean, to come out four months early. What are y'all even doing with the with the release date? Just say it's coming later on this month do that that's better people won't feel blindsided because i feel like they maybe need to start paying attention because if people are canceling pre-orders because it's coming so far in advance or just do like those random surveys of some companies where oh we're sorry to see you cancel your order what led you to do that if they have an option the pre-order was way earlier i think they would see that oh Maybe we're putting this stuff out too soon, too quickly, or we just need to be more realistic about our release dates. One of the two. Doc Avenger says, preach, Jeff. They need to slow down or there's going to be some cancellations. Exactly. Judge Dredd, the thing about pre-orders is they dropped them early and screw up my budget. Right. I mean, you can budget for four months down the road. You know, the next week after a pre-order goes up, it's like, whoa, whoa. That's not what we agreed on. And it's not like they're going to go, okay, cool. You pay us and when the pre-order comes. We'll send you the figure early. That's That made any sense. But jumping ahead so early, and I know they've got the disclaimer on Pulse. Go back to it. Highlight it. Because, wait, where did it go? Ah, there we go. I'll push this really big. So you all can see this highlighted and they put it right here. Estimated ship dates subject to change. Items may ship earlier or later than anticipated without notice. I don't know if that's a great way to run the business with your pre-orders. They could ship at any time. They could come tomorrow. They could come in November. That's that's wild. The whole point of the pre-order is to guarantee that you have it. But if it's coming before you're ready for it, you can't pay for it. What are you going to do? Or if it's coming after, say, someone's birthday that you're pre-ordering for, you got somebody, oh, man, my little brother, my little cousin would love this figure for their birthday in August. It's coming in next January. That kind of botches that plan. Let's figure out those release date windows and stick to them. Henry G, I think they need to slow down. Collectors are going to have to start picking and choosing. I collect multiple lines from Hasbro and they're hitting me hard. Exactly. Yeah. Cause it's just, you know, especially with, when they move stuff up, it's like, uh, cause the vamp, the star Wars two pack with Mason and the shock trooper that was supposed to come out in May. And, you know, fortunately that was covered and all that stuff. But I mean, for people who weren't able to, it's not good, especially because the people who are pre-ordering and then having to cancel cause they jump the pre-order window it's that that's not fair for the customer and for Hasbro. I guess it didn't really matter because Vamp had some a limited window of people canceling and they put it back up and it sold right out within like a half hour. So maybe they didn't learn a lesson, but I feel like at some point that's going to come up on them. Snake Eyes, I think we need to slow down and give the collectors more time to have enough money to get figures. Yeah, I mean, exactly. G Brew, one specific release dates which companies stick to, like with every other thing in entertainment movies, books, video games, comics, shows, they all have specific release dates they stick to. Yeah, I mean, and if there's a delay, 
they put that out there too. I don't feel like people are upset. Oh man, it's been delayed even further. You know, as long as they're not losing the money out of their account right away, but it's that, yeah, don't worry about the pre-order. It's going to happen tomorrow. That's not good. And like you said, I mean, it's not like, oh man, the newest issue of X-Men slated for December that we solicited already is now coming out tomorrow or next Wednesday. It's not how it works. And I don't know why Hasbro in particular seems to struggle so much with this. McFarlane has established pretty quickly. Oh, we put this stuff up on Instagram, on, on Twitter, on social media. Most people should be able to get it in hand in two weeks. And that has been the case since they started doing it that way. I don't know why Hasbro, a bigger company than McFarlane, has so many challenges with that. Judge Dreads, I'm canceling more than I actually get. Yeah. Henry G, if you give a date for a pre-order, you shouldn't turn around and ship two to three months early. Exactly. David Thanos to say release stuff quarterly. Don't release Transformers, Joes, and Stars every other month. Space it out. One month Transformers, the next one Joes, the next one Star Wars, and so on. Yeah, I mean, because, you know, we see these live streams and we get excited. More pre-orders. Cool. But then if they just totally abandon the shipping date, then it just messes everything up. Golden R17, I want Cobra Law figures. Okay. One punch classic, just classic. Dog Avenger, one of the Super Sevens I was getting, Bats and Docs, but canceled them. They're too big, but did not did not stick with Thundercats until the price for Snarf. They're killed in the Golden Goose. I mean, wreckage in the Tiger Paw would indicate otherwise, but I think what's happening is people are going to be like, all right, well, I was going to get this Marvel Legends, this G.I. Joe, this Star Wars, and this Transformers order. There was four months down the road. But now, since you need the money right now, I'm canceling three of them and getting one. Yeah, I think in a lot of cases, that's going to be G.I. Joe that's going to be the one. Acknowledge G.I. Joe. Finish Bob. I'm always happy to see figures I want coming out earlier. My wallet? Not so much. Malcolm Lee says collecting is getting out of hand. I'm all in on deals, cheap collector, nothing. <laughs> Jibu, the thing about disposable income is sometimes life keeps you hard and growing, and suddenly you don't have that disposable income anymore. Yes, I'm right there with you. Crimson Cobra Commander. I had to cancel so many pre orders because of budget in advance, and they come too early. I won't have the money. Exactly. It's just wild. Jamelin, JLI and JLE are probably the era that I read and have the most of. Grant Morrison, Wade, Howard Porter and Giffen to Matisse, Sear McGuire, basically 1A and 1B. Just League Runs in my book. I'm right there with you. So great. Hollywood. Wouldn't mind my Mayfax Phoenix release early. July is still way up. <laughs> the store collectibles and Mayfax, you don't even need to worry about their pre order dates coming true. Robert says, let the product breathe is what they should do. One in the two, two one in the three. Then you got to breathe. Atham. Yeah, they should slow down. Let collectors have time to pre-order or think about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. g if they move a film release back or up a few weeks to studio, less consumers, no months in advance. Yeah, exactly. Happy accident. Yo, yo, trying to slow down. I may need an intervention. Exactly. Kidrick, do you think they could do a hooded cover commander? Some people say they can't because they believe it's sensitive. Listen. A blue, non-pointy hood she doesn't necessarily need to be offensive. It's just Cobra Commander. Got a big Cobra snake on the hood. I don't think anything else with that. All right. Judge Dredd, this hobby is one of my most expensive bills every month. It's not even disposable income. <laughs> I hear you. All right, everybody. Let's see here. Vintage Bob, that Marvel Selection Nihilist is driving me crazy. September release date. That's the one figure I want them to release early. Nice. I need to open up my mutton junk guard too. Stag the release is not every line needs a release every month. Well, maybe judge out. All right. Well, guys, thank you so much as always for hanging out. Appreciate you. Got more videos lining up, but feel free to send me any emails, any thoughts about what you guys want to see me talk about, whether here on the lives on Thursday or just random videos that I post throughout the week. I will be doing one for sure on this uh, Monday's reveals. And as always, check us out on Lyle's Movie Files on Wednesday. For now, 
this episode of the House Figure Files has been filed.